as we get ready for the men's mile final. Ten gentlemen who qualified through from yesterday. They're in the collegiate and meet records, both for Oregon. And out of lane four, this will be Mario Garcia Romo, the senior from, or junior, I should say, from Ole Miss. Well, and I think it's a surprise we're even seeing him here at the mile, Dwight, because his entire season, he was planning on running the anchor leg for the DMR for Ole Miss, and then come back in the 3,000 meters. He ran 748 earlier in the season, and he thought, you know, that's a good enough time to get me into the 3K. And over the last two weeks, that 748, when it was in a nice 11th, 12th position all season, it got bumped clear to 25th position, and so he had to find other events. He ran an outstanding mile at the Milrose Games, and that's what qualified him here. He takes the early lead, eight laps of this 200-meter oval. John Davis of Illinois right there on his right shoulder. Well, and yesterday we saw John Davis run in a T-shirt that somebody had just drawn an eye on. Some of the equipment had gotten stolen from the van, the Illinois van, and so he didn't have the proper uniform and just ran in a plain white T-shirt with an eye and his, and his number. First 440 yards, just under 62 seconds. Remember, this is a mile, not a 1500. Oregon is running in yellow today. They were in white with green yesterday. And in third place, that is Reed Brown for the Ducks. Plenty of team implications in here. Three running revs from Ole Miss in, or two, I should say, in this final. Well, that Oregon Duck, Reed Brown, excuse me, in third position. He is a savvy runner. He's been in many championship races. I was hoping for a little bit more of an honest pace, Dwight. I would have loved to have seen them come in in under 60. It's turning, it's turning very, very tactical. All 10 runners right there. And that's when you know that they just have not taken the pace out very quickly. So this is going to favor the guys with the good sprint speed, the good quarter mile speed, and always the wild card right there in the middle of the pack in the Burgundy or Cardinal of Alabama. Crimson, Ilya Tipsang, the freshman from Kenya. They're trying to figure out, they know that, that he's got something going on, some kind of an injury or some kind of an internal issue. They can't identify it, but more importantly, you just never know what his race plan is gonna be and if he's gonna execute it. He can go out there and run from the front and run your legs off, or he can sprint from behind. 68-8 for the second 440 yards. So it has really turned tactical. And the guys with the better 800 meter times are the ones that really have to watch. Well, and you look at who that might be in this race. There's Creighton Carroza from Texas. He's an outstanding 800 meter runner. Has won 147 this season. But Mario Garcia Romo, he is a great kicker as well. And he's in a good position up front. Done this in the frame now, but Creighton Carosa of Texas, you, there, you can see there in the burnt orange in about eighth place. He had a personal best in the qualifying, and they really need for him to score in this final if their team hopes are going to stay alive. Now, Garcia Roma starting to crank it up a little bit, but 3 1369 and three quarters of a mile, just jogging after that first, lap, uh, first 440 yards. And now the race is on. They put a 62-4 in, which was an improvement. But these guys are full of run. Kipsang just not reacting there at the back of the pack. Carosa in the middle there in fifth place currently as they come around for the belt. Both Oregon runners also in the mix. And Ole Miss on the outside. That is James Young trying to get into the mix. Kipsang is out of it. It's Garcia Romo, Davis, Reed Brown. And that's Beatles come on the outside from Michigan State. He's run the fastest mile of all the collegiates this season. Morgan Beatles come, the senior from Michigan State. He's got to not catch Garcia Romo. Is he? No, he's not able to. And Ole Miss wins it and also scores with their other runner, James Young. So the disappointment of not being able to get through in the 3,000 meters pays off for Mario Garcia Romo. The junior from Salamanca, Spain, he anchors their DMR last night and wins the open mile today. Well, you see, after the race, he has got a lot of run left in him. It was such a slow pace. But Mario Garcia-Roma, he did all the hard work up front. 
And it was Morgan Beetlescombe who has not run extremely fan fast paces when it's been very tactical. He was able to out and lean him. But everybody was closing in that last 200 meters. But Garcia Roma was able to hold him off. So Mario Garcia Romo delivers Ole Miss their first mile national title ever. 4.07.54, never mind the time. It was so tactical. Look at how tight it was for the top five finishers. And John Anderson is downstairs with the winner. I am with the winner, Marcio Garcia Romo. I thought maybe I'd talk to you after the 3K. But I want to know how in a year when 90 guys go under four minutes, explain to me how you win in 4.07. Well, I think it's just about confidence. I knew that I could win any type of race. I think like I was ready to run three feet to three one if, if I needed to. I was ready to run 408, finishing it strong, leading from the front. And it's just about confidence. Uh, a week ago, Coach Venho came to me after the work and he was like, nobody's gonna beat you next week. And I believe it. And I think that's that's when I when I knew I was gonna be a national champion. Time doesn't matter, it's just being a national champ. Hotty toddy, Ole Miss, first yeah. in the mile. Congratulations. First time you will title for Ole Miss. So I mean I'm very proud to represent this program and I think this is a start for something very, really, very really big. Very good. Congratulations.